Alright, is it working? Okay. Okay. Alright. Sorry about that. Just had to get some. Just had to put out the announcement that I was live streaming. Anyway, so let's get the boring stuff over with. Hello, everyone. I am Old Hand Lucia, and today I'll be trying to live stream myself installing Windows 10 onto a very old computer. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, what computer could possibly be so old that it questionably cannot run Windows 10, or at least run it well enough? Well, I'll bring up the specs. Oh. Oops. Oops, didn't realize I forgot to set my mic as a source in this scene. Anyway, to go through what I basically just went, we have a Dell Dimension E521, an Athlon X2 5600+, the AM2 version, at 2.8 GHz, dual core, 4 gigs of DDR2 clocked at 533 MHz, a 120 gig SanDisk SSD, a 2TB Seagate Barracuda, not one but two DVD burners, one is the second one is much newer than the original, which both still work. A GeForce GT710, the PNY version. Only PCI Express 8X, and the fact that it's probably PCI Express 1 Gen 1 probably doesn't exactly help it much, but eh, whatever. Um, I think it also has 2 gigs of video RAM, and 
The thing I installed earlier today was an 802.11 AX, aka Wi-Fi 6, capable wireless card. Yeah, <laughs> imagine that, you don't see that every day. An Athlon X64, that's Wi-Fi 6 capable. Oh, and it also has Bluetooth. It also has a card reader, but the card reader doesn't exactly work well, so I just swapped the USB header that was plugged into for the Bluetooth. I don't know why it uses a USB header for Bluetooth when the P when there's a PCI Express slot right there able to be used. Like, the thing's internal anyway, so why use the USB instead of the PCI Express header? Anyone able to explain that in the comments? Please do. Or in the live chat. Um, oh, and there's no RGB lighting either. Yeah, sorry, but computers of this age don't exactly have that. Anyway, with all that out of the way, let's switch over and get the- and boot this thing up. Now, I believe I ins inserted my Windows 10 CD in there, since, weirdly enough, it doesn't allow for USB booting. Well, I mean, it does, but it doesn't come up as a flash drive and it just locks up. Anyhow, let's fire this thing up, shall we? Okay, get rid of that text. Ugh, switch the keyboard and mouse over. Oh shoot. It would be very helpful if I turned on the capture. Now it'll show the post screen briefly, but that's because I was doing some testing before. Anyway, let's get to it. Alright, so it is not powered on right now. You'll pro probably be able to see when it does get powered on. Oops, there goes the mouse. In just a brief enough moment, also why, gosh darn it, it's getting all tangled up. Whatever. Not like I care anyways, because there's far worse things I'm good, that's going on. Anyway, on, on the country, one, two, three! Ah. Alright, so now, let's access the BIOS. Alright, so, let's poke around, shall we? So the latest BIOS is dated June 11th, 2007. Um, okay. Okay. All oh, the mouse ain't gonna do much. Um, we have an Athlon 5064 5600 Plus at 2.8 gigahertz, dual core, and it is 64 bit. We have 4 gigs of DDR2, all the slots filled, so it's probably dual channel. Yep, it is dual channel, it says it right there. Duh. Um, all the PCI. All, both PCI and both PCIe slots are occupied. The top, the first slot being the GT710, the second slot being the Wi-Fi card, the third slot being a serial card. I don't know why though, but eh, whatever. Probably because the previous owner needed it. And the fourth slot is the is the dial-up modem. Um, okay, it is not 11.31 p.m., but eh, whatever. Um... Okay. Don't know what DBQ is, but whatever. Um, and boot in the hard drive boot sequence, the SSD is set first. Okay, drives. There's no floppy drive. This drive is the 2 terabyte. I had to disable it to keep Windows from installing the bootloader stuff to it. Um, that's the top DVD drive. That's the second DVD drive, and the last one is the SSD. I believe this is SATA 2? Version 2, I believe? It's either SATA 1 or SATA 2. I think it's SATA... I think it's the one and a half gigabit version of SATA, so Gen 1. Um... You don't want read? Eh. Okay... Video... It's part... It's it to auto the integrated graphics which it we don't want even though it's a g-force as well due to it being an n force chipset is set to 128 megs if that gets used but yeah no 
Foreman Security Pound Management. Here's the serial tag if any of you are curious. Rather the service tag. Um, here's the event log. It only goes back to June 17th. Since I believe that... Did I switch the CMOS out then? No, I didn't. I switched the CMOS out earlier in the month. So yeah, it's mostly keyboard errors, but whatever. And fast boot, yes. Unlock the post talk key stuff and keyboard errors. We don't need keyboard errors. Alright. Okay, let's reboot. And now we'll see if this is Windows 10. Ah, shoot, I pr- Oh, the keyboard stopped working. Don't know if y'all heard that beep. Alright, let's try booting from the CD-ROM drive. Okay, so it is Windows 10. At least I think it is. Probably not the latest version. But whatever, we can work with that. But yeah, this is going to take a while. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Weirdly enough, anytime I try upgrading a Windows install, everything would just break for whatever reason. I don't know why though. Yeah, nevertheless, that DVD drive, the light is just solid green, blinking away, and it's taking its sweet time. What's also weird about this is that for some reason, the drives come up as SCSI drives rather than SATA. I don't know why though, might be the Enforce chipset. In the end, in the chipset's probably also why the drive tends to spin at stupidly low speed. Which is weird for the L second DVD drive, because I know that thing can get pretty fast and pretty loud. Well, more loud than fast. They get the point. Ugh. Alright, so, let's see, um, do I speak in US English? Yes, yes, do I type in the US keyboard form? Yes, and install. Okay, um, should I go with Home or Pro? Anyone in the chat able want to decide? 
I'm not going with any of the N versions or education or single language. Um, I'll, hopefully it won't blue screen on me. Yeah, for some reason that tends to happen. Um, actually, you know what, I think I'll just go with Windows 10 Home. Oh, and it says, what's well, the version anyway? Oh. It's the second, the, it's the next latest thing. Alright, let's install. Alright, so now... It's asking for the license agreement. Custom. Alright, so this is all from a Linux installation that I did earlier. But for some reason it decided to kernel panic on me. Yeah, that's a good side of things. <laughs> So let's delete all the partitions. Alright, so it says Windows cannot be installed on this 1,863GB drive. Now this is the Seagate. You'll notice that in, in the BIOS I had a, a data port set to off. Now what that did was it only disabled booting from that port. So therefore... If I want to boot from it, I'll have to go in and change it. And it's and because if I don't, then Windows will create put the EF will put the boot partition onto this drive instead of this drive, the SSD. Or if this was a modern UEFI based system, it would probably create the EFI partition on this drive. But because this is a le very much a legacy system and screams it. Yeah, he'll probably have to just create the recovery partition and nothing more. Now, here comes the boring stuff. Yeah, I know, no one really likes this. So... Oh lordy! In the meantime, sit back, relax. Make yourself comfortable. Oh, there goes the CD drive! Finally spinning up. Anyway, I guess while we're waiting, I'll just ramble on for a little bit. Um...
um, let's see, the square root of a fish is 12. Or was it 69? I forgot. Uh, yeah, I think it's 69. <laughs> nice. Um, Dutch Synth? Yeah, he's a shill. He's, he's a clown to the highest degree. I wouldn't trust him. And I used the moderate for him too, by the way. Um... Oh my lord, a bit tired. Um... Who is Joe Biden's running mate going to be? I don't know. My money is pressing on Gina Raimondo, but I'm kind of biased because she's the governor of my homeland, Rhode Island. I'll also go on record by saying that Marfugel is a clown as well. Not as bad as Dutchson's, but he's still a friggin' conspiracy freak at that. Mitch McConnell? Yeah, he should go. He's a horrible person. Oh, it's done already. Well, that's nice. The wonder of solid state technology. Perfect. How long are we going? Oh, only 23 minutes. Only 24 minutes. That's not bad. That is done, I'll pop in this USB flash drive with the drivers installed on them. Or rather with the drivers installers on them. So we can get this bad boy online. Right? Where is the USB port?
Whoa, there goes the keep. Um Getting ready. Yeah, this is gonna take a bit of time. Oh, something happened. Don't know what it's doing. No, oh, it's rebooting. Okay, just a moment. Got a mouse cursor. Now, unfortunately, I cannot hit Shift F10 right now. Hold on, before we continue, need to get a drink of water. Nah. Okay, much better. Sorry about for taking a little while. 
Anyway, let's see. Region, uh, yeah, we're in the U.S., I suppose. Whether or not I like it. Yes, I have a U.S. keyboard. No, I don't want to add a second layout. Okay, just a moment. Don't have internet because we don't have Wi-Fi drivers yet. Continue with limited setup. Um, who's gonna use- you know, I'll just name it old PC. It's relative to my Ryzen machine- my Ryzen gaming PC. Well, it's more of a general purpose PC that happens to be good at gaming. <laughs> um, let's see. Security questions. What was my first pet's name? Um, oh, come on. A. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about the security questions. Um, no, this computer would probably implode upon doing that anyway. How about Cortana? Nah. I mean, I could. Um, generally don't care. Alright. Hi! We're getting everything ready for you! This might take several minutes. Don't turn off your PC. Hmm, no kidding. I mean, we are talking an old school Athlon 64 anyways. At least it's not socket 754. Was it Socket 754 that had the original Athlon 64? The 3200 Plus? I think it was. It probably was. Ugh. Well, at least this thing's not kicking out as much heat as my Ryzen PC, which is what I'm streaming from. But to be fair, that thing has two SSDs, a 200, an old 250 gig hard drive, which was actually the original hard drive in this thing, um, a 14 terabyte Toshiba hard drive, um, another Wi-Fi 6 card, which I also installed earlier today, along with Bluetooth as well, um, a whole a bunch of expansion cards filling up all the PCIe slots, and an RX 5700 XT. Oh, and the 36 and, and the Ryzen CPU is a 3600. That's stock speeds. With precision boost enabled. Um, what else? Almost there! What else? Oh, and it has 48 gigs of RAM, so 12 times the amount of memory. Alright, now that that's done, let's install the Wi-Fi drivers, shall we? And I guess Bluetooth, too. So... Oh, what's the warranty card? I'm curious. Okay. Please contact us to get a great gift, a pair of Bluetooth earphones. Alright, let's install the Bluetooth drivers first. Oh, and there's no sound. Not yet, anyways. Um, next. Huh, I don't think I've ever seen any drivers come on a USB flash drive. Honestly, instead of giving us a mother- a CD- um, a, a support CD for the- for motherboards, they should just give us flash drives, like, I mean, the one from my from my B450 Pro 4, and I believe also the B450M HDV that I have in the Media Center, I believe. They're both like 4 gigabytes, so just give us like 4 gig flash drives. And I mean, they both also have a, a free copy of FreeDOS on the disk. Okay, so now we have Bluetooth. 
All right, now big boy Wi-Fi. Found this. I don't know what's gonna happen. Cause on that I use the in the official Intel drivers. I don't know if these guys customized it. But I suppose while we're at it, um. Yeah, I have a copy of Vice City burnt to a CD. Admittedly, it was pirated. Why did I open documents? No. I want to open disk man the disk management utility. Is this a 256 megabyte flash drive? I'm gonna have to download the Intel drivers. I'm probably gonna have to. Anyway. You know what? Are there a notification? Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to install the Intel drivers from wherever. Once I format this. So. Pro tip for y'all, most people do not take well the needless threats. Or baseless threats, rather. Threats that were made without any cause. Most people don't take well to them. Alright, now I'll name this... Extra Data. Anyway... Now I want to see if I can actually format this. Will it let me format? What happens if I bring up this part? Oh, it really is the 256 gig flash drive. Interesting. Interesting. I guess may as well keep the warranty card. Format. Um, yeah, I suppose I'll just keep it at fat. Actually, I'll change it to fat32. I mean, I feel kind of bad for formatting it, but at the same time, not really. Alright. Now, anyway, I'm gonna go download the official Intel drivers on my Ryzen PC. By the way, I legitimately did not think they still made 256 megabyte, not even gigabyte, 256 megabyte flash drives. Alright. So what I'm gonna do... Right, find the USB port. Leave that sit down there. 
you might hear some wind that's the top fan of my Ryzen PC. Insert that, oh boy. Alright, let's get to work, shall we? So... download now I would also install the NVIDIA drivers but problem is the driver executable is too big to fit on this flash drive You know what, just for fun, I'll install, download, go on to ninite.com. Um, let's see, Chrome, yeah, 7-Zip, Discord, Google Earth, Steam, VLC, Audacity, all the runtimes, IMG Burn, um, GIMP. I also want this to be like a fallback computer in case my Ryzen PC decides to die. I want FileZilla. Yeah, I'm going with Vanessa. And open and open JDK. The development kit itself, because I'm taking a Java class next semester. Get the Ninite install package. Get that, copy it over. And Let's sneaker net this thing. Yeah, this thing's Wi-Fi. My main PC is Wi-Fi 6 capable too. Nevertheless, though, I never knew they still made 256 megabyte flash drives. All right, let's get back to work. All right. Okay, let's take a peek, shall we? Wi-Fi... Okay. Pretty, like I read that quickly. Oh, that was fast. Alright. Now, let's copy all this stuff back. Can we connect to Wi Fi now? Yes. Connect to the 5 GHz network. Get put the password in right. Oh, go figure. Just a moment. 
Yeah, sure. Let's get... Alright. Now let's run this Ninite installer. During which time the CPU will probably be maxed out for a good, eh, a good a few hours. Well, let's see what Task Manager report. Just for fun. Okay. Wi-Fi. Intel Wi-Fi 6 AX200. It reports a Wi-Fi 5 connection. Now that we have Chrome installed, odds are good that we're probably going to have to wait for Windows to update. Which that too is going to take a bit of time, more because of CPU clock speed limitations because the CPU and inevitably RAM are the, is the biggest bottleneck now I am not going to sign into Chrome not now. First, I'm going to go download H264 if I. As this is what basically lets YouTube at, well, actually play on something this old. Because H264, because the default codec, which is VP8 and VP9, as you can see, isn't exactly hardware accelerated. And when and software acceleration of that codec, of those codecs, on an as on a measly Athlon 64, can cause eh, a couple of issues. At least when you go beyond 360p, or was it 480? I forget. However, H.264 Even though there isn't there an enhanced version? Yeah. There it is. This is what I prefer, personally. Block 60 FPS. That can kill us. This computer will probably implode if it tried playing 60 FPS video on YouTube. Now it can play some games somewhat well, at least if you lock them at 30 FPS. I mean, it can at least play tra the first two trails of Cold Steel games. And it can also play Burnout Paradise the Ultimate Box. And to a degree it can also play The Sims 3. 
but only Sims 3 of you crank the settings down. Same with Trails of Cold Steel. Since that game just runs awful on a GT710 anyhow. But Burnout Paradise, it can probably get away with like medium settings with minimal issues. Anyhow, let's download the GeForce drivers. Where are we at for time? 50, 51 minutes. Alright, let's see. GeForce. Uh, we're sporting a GeForce 700 series. Oh. Okay. Um, I wish we were sporting a 780 Ti. But the PCIe slot configuration makes that unlikely. Seeing how the last slot before going into like the main area is is the 16x slot. Um, the 710. This 1064-bit English. Game ready and studio drivers. I don't care which one. Huh. That's odd, it's grayed out. It's not letting me click. Oh well. Hopefully there's not a whole lot in the way of drivers. Yeah, no kidding, I installed this from CD. Obviously it's gonna be missing security and quality fixes. I need to calm down. I really need to calm down. Yeah, that didn't exactly help. Anyone that my mother decided to, decided to pull the clean your room, clean your room or else I'm gonna throw everything out card. Doesn't exactly help that that my fa her and my father aren't exactly on good terms. Oh, well, something installed the driver. Do we have sound though? Oh lord, everything's tiny now. Nope. Oh, well, that's a pleasant little surprise. Yeah. Nevertheless, it didn't exactly help anyone that she tried threatening me with throwing my stuff out. Which I was like, mmm, no you ain't. Well, not really, I just didn't say anything. Until later, when I was like, mm, you realize I can use that against you to the therapist, right? Yeah, I'm seeing a therapist. Or rather, talking to one on the phone, because the C virus. Yeah. Things didn't exactly go too well. Well, the reason I am seeing a therapist is because, well, it actually kind of involves her, funnily enough. Oh, well, not so funnily. But my point remains. Oh. I should probably shut my mic off. So no background noise comes in. Only turn it on if I have something to say. Okay.
installing the updates is in GIMP evidently is going to take a bit of time. Oh well. Apparently I keep wanting to press a key to make that my mouse escape like it's a virtual machine. But yeah, at the same time, I know very well this is not a virtual machine. This is not virtual box. This is actual hardware. Oh, there we go. Now it's inst all that's installed. All the CPU is still pegged as it has while installing updates. All right, let's see. Anyway, I wonder, can we go on Reddit by any chance? Come on. Right, the start menu doesn't want to load. So you know what, just for fun, let's go on. Um, let's see.
Well, tomorrow is the Kentucky and New York presidential and congressional primaries. I think I, I'm, I for one am hoping that Mike Broher wins in Kentucky and Jonathan Herzog manages to pr out primary Jerry Nadler and hopefully that that loony loony Lindsay Lindsay Boylan. I swear he's still like the manifestation of your stereotypical Bernie Stan. Yeah, so far all seems to be well. I guess this will probably be where I stop the stream, seeing how there's just simply not a whole lot to do left. And from here, I'll probably end up doing, like, performance benchmarks and the like. Probably t either tomorrow, or maybe this weekend once it's all updated. On that note, first I gotta switch over keyboard and mouse. Oh boy. Then I have to hit stop stream. Alright, good night everyone. Hope y'all have a great evening. And stay safe out there.